the new liquid glass on iPhone is quite a change from what we had before, and sometimes it does come at the cost of visibility. It makes it harder to see the text on the screen in certain situations. Well, there are two different ways that we can change how liquid glass looks on our phone. One of them removes it completely, and the other one makes it a little bit easier to use. Let me show you both. So I'm going to jump into the settings app, and then we're going to accessibility. From here, we're looking to find display and text size near the top, and then we're going to turn on reduce transparency. Now, if I jump back into photos, you're going to see it's very different. Essentially, we've now got rid of the content that goes behind the buttons. We've just got a plain blank toolbar like we used to have on iOS 18. The playful nature of the buttons still exists, so the little bounce and move between them when you tap on them, that's all still there, but it does make it a lot easier to see the buttons and the tabs on the screen. Okay, this is quite a drastic change. Let's try something kind of in the middle. We'll jump back into that same settings page on the accessibility options, and this time, rather than doing reduced transparency, we're going to turn on increase contrast. You'll notice straight away the iPhone looks slightly different on the settings screen, but don't worry about that too much. Let's jump back into photos. And now the liquid glass buttons and the toolbar and the tab bar, they've all got outlines around them, and they're not quite as see-through as they were before. That means as you scroll through your content, as you open up pictures, they're much easier to see. Just like before, the playful elements will still be there, so when you tap on buttons, they'll kind of grow and expand and wobble a little bit, which I think is quite fun, personally. But it does make all the buttons that much easier to see and to read. As I'm browsing in this photo here and zooming in, you can see the buttons are fairly clear with that border around them and the frosted approach. In fact, to show you the difference, here are the two side by side. The reduced transparency option that I'm calling frosted glass, and the main liquid glass option on the right hand side. So you can choose how you want to customise your phone to make it work best for you. And then you can jump onto my channel down below, where there are dozens of new things that your phone can do on iOS 26. I'll see you there.